Cold weather is not only getting old for those of us waiting for spring to take hold, it's also causing problems for farmers. Amory Wilder talked to a local crop specialist about the upcoming season. Amory, are growers in a tight situation right now? Well, Eric, right now they're on schedule, but some farmers are eager to get into their fields, so they are pushing the envelope. An expert I spoke with tells me you might be able to compare one growing season to another, but they'll never be identical. The old saying is a farmer has 40 chances. A farmer will put in 40 crops within his lifetime, and probably no two years are ever the same. Trevor Olson is a crop specialist at Conserve FS in Caledonia. He's been in the business for 20 years, which means he's been around long enough to see how things operate. Lately, the forecasts have been making it harder for farmers to get going. The cooler temperatures has allowed us to uh, get fertilizer out in the fields, focus on getting uh, their nitrogen, potassium, along with their phosphorus out in the fields in a timely manner, and uh, we're just delaying the, the application of uh, chemicals right now. But farmers say they've got a few more weeks to spare before they'll start getting worried. Olson says soil temperatures are not quite where they should be yet. 50 degrees is ideal in order to plant corn and soybeans. The soil temperature map for uh, the state of Illinois has got a location in uh, DeKalb, Illinois, along with Freeport, Illinois. Freeport's sitting around 44 degrees right now, and DeKalb is around 47 degrees. So we're right at the peak there. Last year, he says farmers were two weeks ahead of schedule. And in 2019, some growers didn't start until closer to Memorial Day. It varies from year to year, but it just depends upon what Mother Nature wants to throw at us. And another thing that could change within a year, inventory. Olson says that agricultural businesses saw shortages just like every other industry over the past couple of years. In 2022, right now we are sitting extremely well. What happens in 2023, that might be a totally different scenario as things come into play. Olson says yields for growers will drop roughly 0.3% on both soybeans and corn if planted after May 15th. Then they'll lose about a percent of their yield per day when they get closer to Memorial Day on corn. Eric?